Hey guys, it's Tammy from Never Too Late to Quit. Today's video, we're going to take a look at five diseases that are directly related to smoking. And I'm going to discuss a little bit about how living with cancer and chronic illness has affected me personally. So before we do that, let's take a look at what I'm vaping today. I've got my e leaf Eye Stick Pico, of course. If you've watched uh, some of my other videos, you'll know that this is my favorite mod and I'm, usually I'm vaping on it. And I have my Baby Beast tank. And the e-juice that I'm vaping today is Cloud Kicker Serum Il Nana, which is a banana-based flavor. Oh, I have my device set at 56 watts and I'm going to do a little vape here. Come vape with me as I vape on my eye stick peak that perfectly matches my hair. Now, if only my cloud puffs could be as pink as my pico and my gorgeous hair. I love it. Lots of cloud. Woo. Cloud is good. Cloud is good, guys. Okay. So we're going to take a look at those five diseases. We're going to start off with the number five, which is oral cancer. Now, oral cancer does belong to a specific group of cancers that is called oral head and neck, or OHNC. And it's estimated that 70 to 80% of all OHNC cancers are due to tobacco and heavy alcohol consumption. Now, I don't have OHNC. I have a very rare form of blood cancer, but I actually have tumors inside my mouth that's being caused by the blood cancer. I've had damage to my gums. I have severe periodontal disease. All of my teeth have to be removed because of this damage. I will be able to eventually wear dentures, but in the beginning, I'm not going to be able to until all of that stuff heals inside my mouth. And I can tell you from the experience of living with these tumors in my mouth, I am pretty sure oral cancer is not fun. Um, it affects so much of what I eat. Um, I can't even eat sometimes toast because it really bothers my mouth, my tongue, my gums. Um, the past couple of days, I've had really severe like pain in my mouth on the left side and headache and all of that stuff because of the tumors inside my mouth. So I definitely can tell you uh, having cancer inside your mouth is not fun. You don't want it. Number four is COPD. Now, we've probably all heard of COPD, but that also includes chronic bronchitis and emphysema. Now, it is estimated that by the year 2020, COPD is going to be the third leading cause of death in North America. That's scary. And if you do smoke and you do get diagnosed with COPD, the only way to kind of or to help prevent further damage being done is by quitting smoking. And we all know that quitting smoking is not an easy task. But if I can do it, you can do it. Uh, the number three is lung cancer. Now we've all heard of lung cancer. And I will tell you from experience of having cancer, cancer is not fun. Um, I've never had lung cancer. I did have a friend of mine who passed away last year from lung cancer. She was a heavy smoker and she did die from lung cancer. But I can tell you from experience of having cancer, even though it's a different form of cancer, again, fighting cancer is not fun. Chemo is not fun. Radiation is definitely not fun. Um, and just living with cancer generally is definitely not pleasant. Number two is stroke. Currently in North America, stroke is the third leading cause of death in both males and females. For smokers, the risk of stroke actually is nearly two and a half times that of a non-smoker. So 
really quitting smoking is so important to help reduce your chances of suffering from a stroke. And number one is heart disease. Coronary heart disease is the leading cause of death in North America. And it is also the leading cause of death caused by smoking. A lot of people, when they hear of somebody dying from smoking-related disease, automatically they think lung cancer. And even though it is one of the leading causes of death from smoking, heart disease is actually the number one cause. Smoking is really hard on the heart. In 2014, I was diagnosed with a very rare form of cancer of the blood, specifically the white T cells and or other words, immune system. The form of cancer I have is terminal. There is no cure. I will always have this cancer and I will eventually die from this cancer. I am very lucky in the fact that I have found an exact match for a stem cell, which is my sister. Here's her picture. This is my hero. And I am super excited about that. What that's going to do is it's going to give me some more years, some more time here on this earth. And I am so very grateful for that chance. There are, way, there are so many different ways of quitting smoking. They can include patches, gums, um, inhalers, cold turkey, medications, hypnosis. There's so many different ways that you can successfully quit smoking. Vaping is what worked for me. It's the only way that has worked for me. And I've been four months smoke free. So I'm very excited and very happy. And that's why you'll often see vaping included in my YouTube videos. So I will tell you that living with cancer has definitely not been easy. I have days that I have absolutely no energy. A lot of times I'm doing my videos in my room simply because I don't even have the energy to come upstairs and set up my camera. Finding the energy when you have cancer can be difficult. I'm going to tell you how cancer has affected me. It has affected my parents. I've aged horribly. Um, I've gained a lot of weight. The cancer that I have actually causes weight gain. In December of 2015, I weighed 285 pounds, which was directly related because of cancer weight gain. I'm now down to 215 pounds because I've been losing a lot of weight. I'm stage four cancer now, and a lot of days I don't eat. I have had, again, tumors in my mouth. I have tumors on my head, on my face, all over my body. Um, the type of cancer that I have causes tumors on both on the inside and the outside of the body and I've suffered from those. I've suffered severe anxiety, depression, um, all of these things because I'm living with cancer. If you can prevent some of these chronic illnesses by quitting smoking, really it's worth giving it a try. Do it for yourself, do it for your family, your friends, do it for you know, your whole life in general. Um, when I first found out that I, was ha that I had cancer and then was told it was terminal, I cannot even begin to describe to you the feeling and the emotions that I went through. I don't want anybody to ever have to go through that. And so my goal is by doing this channel is to hopefully help other people as they're facing um, cancer and chronic illnesses. With that, I'm gonna sign off today. And I'm going to just remind you that even if you're somebody like me who has cancer or another chronic illness and you think that you can't quit smoking or what's the point of quitting smoking, I'm going to tell you it was the best decision I ever made. I'm four months as of right now smoke free. And until next time, I'll see everybody later. Happy vaping or whatever you chose as your quit smoking method. Happy nicotine patching. See you guys later. Bye.